My people, as I they talk to us so, Nigeria youth, no one here say, it remain few days to inauguration. My people, no be smart, you know. Hmm. As I they talk to us so, my people, hey, hey. Even the judge way they inside court don't hear her. Now, my people, the matter we take for grant, so, he get us the bill. This May 29, they still they insist, say, the court supposed to do order, say, that May 29 make it no happen. My people make on a con here waiting. This youth they talk. Make on a con see what the angry Nigerian youth do because of this May 29 where they come. Because they thought say this May 29. Say if they remember waiting Yakub, which is I neck do to them, they not go feel ever forget. My people, as we they see so, this always be say they still continue to the come outside because. Hey, all these DSS people don't want them say make nobody come around for that May 29. Oh, but the youth talk say no, they know they agree. Say, Auntie, the court do the right thing, they no go stop. My people make on a call watch video. Freedom come, freedom come at by struggle. Freedom come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom come. When I remember my mood, water run away, my eye, oh. Hey, aye, water run away, my eye. When I remember the rigging, water run away, my eye, oh. Hey, aye, water run away, my eye. When I remember the killings, water run away, my eye, oh. Hey, I, water run away my eyes. Nigeria needs healing. A hand to nudge it from its current state comes to palaces, the tear of justice flush through the land. The more we try to ignore it, the tighter the binds to our ears. The emboldment of these evil plotters by the silence of the vast majority of Nigerians must grow more putrid with each passing day. Nigeria cannot afford to go through this cycle of illegality again. We must move forward, but on the path lined with justice, fairness, equity, and inclusiveness. It is our belief, as it is of most, that power gotten from illegality can hardly be used for public good. The wielders of such power, due to the manner of its acquisition, hardly see the need to pay obeisance to the people. The people, on the other hand, become more and more withdrawn, weakening their resolve to demand accountability. In the end, democratic values are fractured and national prosperity is endangered if not blotted. Nigeria has come a long way and a long journey from independence in 1960 with several patches of its democratic cloak. The 2023 general election presented an opportunity to reset the country, forging a national ideology driven by ordinary Nigerians who hitherto had no reason to hold a peace of the country in their hand. And after six long months, the blindfold of ethnicity and religious intolerance fell off their eyes. For the first time in several decades, Nigerians were willing to die for their country, to uphold its dignity and defend its prime standing on the continent of Africa. We cannot afford to lose the lines as the energy disputed and the enormous dissipated and the enormous and may cost several uh, decades uh, to recover. As Professor Mahmoud Yakubu led Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has led us to this precipice by its shameful conduct. The onus lies on the judiciary to save our country. The courts play a symbolic role in any society. They exist to enthrone social order 
by upholding the rule of law to protect the liberty and ensure due process. Suffice to say that the courts are buffers in society. The legal system of any country is a measure of its development. Though there are no perfect ones anywhere on the planet, there is and will always be better ones. The judiciary in Nigeria, as we believe, is on the course of redemption to expunge all forms of public doubt and suspicion of trading justice in our courts. The role of the judges of the Presidential Election Petition Court comes to mind. Like Nigeria, they stand at a historic crossroad. Their actions and inactions portend great impact on the nation. While we accept the modules of fact that applications of, rele of relevant laws to seem by the judges, we call on all, call on the nation, and them to uphold their integrity to defend the dignity of our country in all their decisions. They are humans and Nigerians. They feel the pain of all Nigerians, irrespective of how high their placement in society may be. So they must understand that whatever decisions they arrive at, the gains or pains will go round. We call on the families, members, communities, and religious leaders, friends, and associates, and colleagues of the judges to insist that they do the right thing. The integrity of the judiciary must be upheld in all decisions and the processes must be transparent. That is what Nigerians will accept. Anything else other than this will amount to an installment by the judiciary. Yes. We cannot afford to have this, especially for the office of the president. Yes. As a group, we maintain our stand for the cancellation of the presidential election of 25th February 2023 yes. Yes. due to actions that disgracefully are not democratic. We hope the judges will come to this decision. But however the tides turn and wherever the decisions sail, may it emerge from the credibility of process. Yes. That's all right. We call on the judges to look to Nasarawa, Benue, Kaduna, Borno, Yobe, Katsina, and all other parts of the country where killings have continued unabated despite defining colorful claims of diffusing the situation by government. The judges must open their eyes of their humanity to see through the tears and anguish of orphaned children, widows and widowers, and all people made wretched by this abrupt destruction of their livelihoods. We urge them to look towards the mass graves and the frequency of such. They should consider the cumulative impact of these killings on the national psyche of our national psyche and of our posturing internationally. A government founded on illegality will do nothing other than continue to subdue the will of the people to retain power. The mindless killings of easy target by coward marauders must cease. But only a government founded on public trust can arrest this dare situation. Yes. Only a government that considered itself as owning the people accountably and being accountable can realize that the killings are an indication of its failure and that whatever legacy it hopes to cling to is lost in the blood of each citizen spilled by these violent groups. Nigeria currently resides in the intensive care units of politics, ideology, infrastructure, national cohesion, insecurity, and public welfare. Fixing it requires special hands. This must begin with the five judges of the Presidential Election Petition Court. They must, by this process of litigation, demonstrate to Nigerians that their voice is in the courtrooms and not only on the streets. Yes. As a group, we will continue to demand for the right things to be done 
to save our democracy and nation from collapse. Yes. The walls of tolerance, coercion, of inclusion, turned during the 2023 general election must be rebuilt. One way is to begin this through justice. Yes. yes. The case of a double nomination of Alaji Kashim Shatima, presently at the Supreme Court, must be heard for and its merits in the law. And if found culpable, he should face the full weight of the law. Yes. yes. Also, attempts to deny the APC access to electoral material in Delta State is the most disgraceful and unfortunate. Yes. We are a country of laws and must remain with the law in all our dealings. People must never be gagged from pursuing legitimate causes to prove their cases. Yes. We call for the immediate release of all electoral materials to the APC in Delta State. Yes. The court must never be used as an instrument to fuel the desperations of politicians and their surrogates. Yes. Finally, as we await the decision of the Presidential Election Petition Court, we call Nigerians to stand up and demand for justice. Yes. We maintain our call for the sack, arrest, and prosecution of Professor Yakub Mahmoud. Yes. yes. Cancellation of the presidential election. Yes. Yes. An establishment of Truth and Reconciliation Committee for national healing. Yes. And compensation of all Nigerians affected by electoral violence. Yes. We are as strong as our laws and as high as our institutions. We must insist on truth and justice, for that is how to save our society from collapse. Yes. That's all right. We call on the judges to let Nigeria win. Let Nigeria win. African value systems, which is based on love for humanity, that is beyond region, religion, ethnicity, the class divides, and also party affiliations. Our community and the society can only be built on our value systems. The end does not justify the means. Yes. If end justify the means, then you can do all you can to build that big house. Kill all the people to buy that car. Do all you can to become first. We know and people know you might be first in class. You can have the result first, but it is possible that you slept with your lecturer. You can have first, but you bribed that teacher so that you have the result and you came first does not mean that you truly came first. Exactly. And so, even though you take that result and you are first, and you are the head boy, you are the principal, you are the president, down in your heart you know that you arrived there by fraudulent means. And every time any nation is built on these fault lines, we will never truly go forward as a people. And so regardless of the results, we will continue to hammer and stay on the path of justice, fairness, equity, and doing what is right. Yes, this yes. is what our movement is about. Yes. Yes. And this is all that we are about. Yes. My people, now the video now on a new watch for this. On a see what you for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make you let me know. Waiting on a thing for the comment section, and if you are never subscribed, make sure subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't go miss any latest gist we and they upload. And those of you that will be see, or I never follow my Facebook page, make sure follow so that you don't go see miss any latest gist we and they upload. And about that, I come on our next time. Bye, guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.